Libertarian and philosophy deal with uh, the questions of, of sexual freedom in this, this supposed age of AIDS. How do we deal with the question of sexual freedom? Well, if we deal with it outside of the context of the problem of AIDS, sexual freedom is sexual freedom. I mean, uh, we do not invade the bedroom. Uh, we have no laws uh, against any type of sexual activity except the general principle that no force ever be used. That again doesn't mean that we condone what might go on, but it means that we would not have a law that we should in, that would require that we invade the bedroom and, and regulate it. Now, in the area of AIDS, it's clearly uh, spread in such a way that most people can uh, figure out how AIDS is spread and is not spread casually. But handling the problem of AIDS, I think, can be handled in a free market libertarian way differently than anybody else has proposed. First thing is, is I think the government should be out of it. The government has no uh, ability to really regulate lifestyles and, and to do anything to prevent AIDS. Therefore, problems that are difficult to solve, we certainly don't want to turn them over to the government because they usually make these problems much, much worse. Uh, there shouldn't be government quarantines. But there certainly should be your right as an individual to quarantine yourself. Otherwise, you can discriminate against somebody who has AIDS. You don't have to associate with them. We would protect the businessman who might not want to hire somebody with AIDS. This whole idea that an AIDS victim has AIDS victims' rights, this is this distorted idea about civil liberties. There's only one kind of rights. There's no such thing as minority rights or women rights. There's only individual rights, and everybody should be treated equally, and everything has to be voluntary. But with AIDS, the businessman, the employer, has the right to protect himself if he wants. If it's his desire, he can sever the contract or not enter the contract and say, look, I don't want to deal with you. And he has the right to do that. You know, it's so bizarre today that the, so, some of the laws and the court rulings indicate that if you have hepatitis, you're not allowed to work in a restaurant. But if you have AIDS, you can't fire the person. That's the kind of inconsistency that wouldn't occur in a libertarian society. But you would be not compelled to associate with AIDS victims, and you should be protected against them if they are a threat to you through the voluntary means and a contractual arrangement. But no government quarantines, no compulsory testing, no force by the government.